Hello crafters! This is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and I'm here with my Saturday morning makes. Alrighty, let's go into my fun card. Totally unexpected, but boy, did she deliver. Let's get started. Okay, crafters, here's my card, and it's in a slim line, hot pink envelope, nine and a half inch by four. My card is four by eight and a half, okay? Look at this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Absolutely, 100% inspired by BB Cameroon. Oh, BB. I'm still clapping over the hummingbird collection that spell binders, but I saw a video yesterday and it was a collaboration. BB's video posted on Jennifer McGuire's channel. I watched it. It was how to make this style of card, the fence, and then she decorated it with a brand new hummingbird collection. So last night was my Saturday morning makes. Here is my card. Oh, super duper love did i have fun oh you bet if there is a crafting playground suzanne was on it i went down the slide i went on the swing i went on the little roundabout <laughs> i was having a ball with this card last night so i made it last night watched the video i watched it like oh okay because this is super easy to make this is a strips and then some glue thumbs up for ease and then I should have gone back because if you look at the slim line and I'm going to put the picture here, it had wider slats. I did the slimmer slats, which would be for her other card. And here's the other card. If it's not a five by seven, it could be an A2. But isn't that beautiful? Watch BB's video. I'm going to link it below. I'm also going to link this collection. So let's talk about the card. Oh, slim line card with vines, two hummingbirds, then have a wonderful day. You open it up and on the inside I stamped thinking of you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Stands up. Love. So let's talk about this because, oh, yeah. I'm going to make another one of these, definitely. The die set I used is the new Delicate Floral Hummingbird dies. This is a 5 by 7 die set at Spellbinders. Let me show Because I do have an example of this die fully done. It's like this. With a die set like this. You can go all the way out to a five by seven, but you could also crop it here, do a square card in that region. Could also turn it into an A2. Isn't that lovely? So I deconstructed it. Here is bits of that corner and this corner. There it is, the full vine. Isn't that fabulous? And you get the hummingbird, you get the wings, the tail, you get his beak, you get the eyes and the body. And then you can arrange the wings. And I watched BB's video because before I went by the packaging of this. So this is very close to what is on the actual packaging for this product. This one, she was showing how you can just place the wings all sorts of ways to even change your hummingbird's position. <laughs> Watch her video. I am linking it. Trust me. To make this base, I'm using Accent Cardstock. Accent Cardstock is 120 pound cardstock. I could have also gone 110. 110 I normally get at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. This one I get at Amazon and is super bright white cardstock. Okay. And they do have it in stock. They were out of stock for a long time. So you can get yourself a ream. Great price point too for a ream. I will put a link for it seeing that I am talking about it. So I cut that. Then I made my little strips just like in BB's video. I just did slats. My slats are half an inch. And then this is also half inch, okay? She did like two pieces out here. I did three because I had this open space here in the middle. I thought it just needed that play. You do you, right? Um, I'm so excited. I can't even talk. <laughs> and then after that, I took out some Bristol Smooth cardstock. This stuff. Bristol Smooth cardstock. Great for ink blending. So I took the die. All these bits, including here and the florals. That's the flower, that's the buds, that's the leaf on top of all these vines and cut them all out in white Bristol Smooth cardstock. I was following BB's video. Sometimes I like to start off with a color and then blend on it. 
I decided to go this route, which I think gives it a nice lighter look anyway. I didn't go too deep into the coloring. You know, I have wrist issues, so I don't like to go crazy with the ink blending, but the ink blending and I, we were on the playground last night. Let me tell you, cut this all out with Bristol ink blended. Let me show you the inks I use because I've been talking about it. I used my Gina K ink and I don't have her full ink pads. I buy these little ink cubes and I have been enjoying it. So what you're seeing here, if you're interested, it's called fresh asparagus, green grass. That's what you're seeing here. The pink though, because this carnation pink is coming out a bit too coral and I wanted her to be this color pink. I actually ended up using, cause I do buy inks also from my favorite things. Cotton candy, popping pink gives you that colorway. The hummingbirds, you're looking at sweet corn, tomato soup, tranquil teal. This is a color that if you don't want to buy a bunch of inks, but you just want one or two, that one right there. Hello, thumbs up. The key lime is in the body of the bird here. So these two are fantastic together, as you can see, if you're loving that look. See, you don't have to buy the whole set, but I've just been liking her ink so much. This was a recommendation. I saw it on Facebook in a group. People were asking, what is a really good ink for ink blending? A bunch of people kept saying Gina K. And I was like, really? So I bought some, and as you can see, I've been adding. This is a great set too, if you love your purples, the orchid set. This is sold in three. These are individual. I'll put a link below for this because if you're really, really, really loving certain colors, I would definitely go with Tranquil Teal. Key Lime, that fresh asparagus, that's super pretty too for greens and grass and pretty, 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 pretty. So those were the ink blending. What did I use to ink blend? And I've been showing this lately too because I've been just pulling out all my little mini brushes. So these were all my little mini brushes I played with last night. But I did not use this kind. This kind really, for me at least, I use this through a stencil. For this, I like to have a brush in my hand instead, okay? So this is more of a detailed brush. This is more of like an area. Like when I cut this out with cardstock, I'm just like inking the whole area with the green. You know what I mean? As a matter of fact, I even went the bigger size, this size, when I did a bigger area. Once I started going small though, like this, then I came into these little bitties. See, that's the yellow. I did yellow, little red, and then I went into that teal. Having a blast. I just wanted to hop on and show you my card. 100% inspired by BB's video. I finished off my card with Glimmer Hot Foil Sentiment. Have a wonderful day. This is from the wonderful Tulips Hot Foil Plate. Love. And this comes with a coordinating die. And you can make a whole tulip card too. Spellbinders as well. This, everything here is spellbinders. And then I also used some green gems throughout. I tell you, look at those green gems. Aren't they just on the playground too? <laughs> they came at the end. <laughs> the um, sentiment, I was thinking, and this is why I'll tell you guys I do factory mode. I was going between, this is black cardstock with opaque black and white roll. This is the opaque white hot foil roll. I was also thinking of this, and I just wanted to show you because I was going back and forth between the two. This is black cardstock with matte gold. What do you guys think? You see how you can change it? This is white cardstock with the opaque black hot foil roll. Mm-hmm. Love. Or I could have gone white with the metallic. Yes, options. I do that here with this sentiment. And I did cut some blanks. I do have two layers of that 120-pound accent cardstock underneath that sentiment just to give it stability because some of it is hanging off. And then the inside sentiment, thinking of you, that's also from BB's Hummingbird Collection. And she designed this collection in collaboration with Spellbinders, isn't it? Thinking of you, right there. This is the Hummingbird Sentiment Stamps. So pretty and absolutely fun and easy to make. You have that fence. Switch out the Hummingbird. You could put birds. You could put a ton of florals. Expect to see another example of this coming from me soon. I was in heaven and this little set this delicate floral full card perfect for mother's day or here deconstructed but still fabulous and this was the first time doing the hummingbirds this is with cardstock and a little bit of ink blending i'm liking the ink blending but you can play either way go with whatever mood you're in jump on the playground you may want to go on the swing first you may want to go on the slide first 
<laughs> I was just in a blast. Alrighty, crafters, I just wanted to hop on real quick and share my Saturday morning makes because I there last night crafting away, giggling, watching a movie, and playing with this. The only thing that took a little while was picking colors and ink blending, and that didn't take so long. This construction, two seconds. And it was little dabs of glue, too, to create the slats. Watch her video. You're going to be drooling. See you on the playground soon. You must give this cutting strips, slats, card making, interactive card a try. If we're loving it as a crafter, can you imagine recipients? <laughs> Love. Thumbs up. Great job, BB. Alrighty, crafters, until the next video. Stay crafty, my friends. Bye.